Welcome back to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes. Uh, today we are going to uh, go over a theme and what it themes uh, as opposed to um, doing a ROM or um, you know something like that. Normally I, I kind of do ROMs and things. Uh, I've had a lot of requests on um, or not really requests but uh, I've had a lot of questions on theming. Uh, what part of the theme themes what you know stuff like that and I thought what I would do quickly is since I do have videos out uh, on how to use Substratum uh, I thought I would go through and show you what <laughs> try to uh, show you what part of the theme themes what on the phone or tablet device you know whatever you're using uh, I'm running 16 only because I like 16 and I like every one of these things you, that I scrolled down through you saw that I have loaded. Um, I use them. I love them all. Uh, but lately, there's been a lot of changes to Android. Um, and the uh, developer or the de developer of uh, 6 has been quick to add uh, the new features that are out uh, with the latest updates in Android. Uh, header packs, you know, stuff like that. So I, <laughs> I like this theme. Um, when you first open the theme, you're greeted with the uh, overlays manager. Basically, this is going to be where you're going to make all the changes to the colors on your device, background, um, accent colors, your background colors, stuff like that, okay? Um, if you swipe to the right, it's self-explanatory. You can pick and choose through boot animations. Um, right now, uh, I'm running a standard boot animation. Um, you can actually uh, pick whatever you want out of this. Uh, this theme actually comes with quite a few different ones uh, just for kicks I'll go with the uh, Trump the funny Trump one and it's as simple as uh, you know clicking on it when you see that arrow to the right is highlighted in blue uh, press on it like that and it's gonna set your boot animation for you it's that simple you don't have to do anything else now you're not going to see the boot animation until it actually boots the phone but uh, it's set now. Font packs, again, uh, that's self-explanatory. You're basically just setting what font pack you want. Uh, I usually always go with Cavalier or Caviar uh, Dreams Thicker. Uh, that's the theme or the, uh, uh, the fonts that I like to use. Again, you just click on the blue arrow. Uh, it will set the theme. And once the theme is set, it'll do a system UI restart. Hopefully it doesn't kill the video. And we're going through the restart right now. And as soon as we're done, we swipe up. And the video is still going. Good. And now the, uh, the font packs are set. Swipe to the right if you want sound packs. It's got the R2-D2 sound packs. Uh, you can choose that if you want. Right, Me, I'm not going to choose that. But if you guys want that, you know, choose it. Uh, and then if you swipe to the right again, that's going to bring up the wallpapers. And picking a wallpaper, uh, it's as simple as picking it. I'll go with the, I think, the, it's kind of hard to see them, really. Um, I don't, I want to try to pick one. Let's just go with the Skippy. Well, let's go with the first one, the Skippy. Now, it's going to ask, uh, you know, whether you want a home, uh, lock screen, wallpaper. I'm going to go with home and lock screen. And now... Uh, basically what I want to do is I want to take my two fingers and I want to pinch this or maybe not take the corner and drag it there we go now nah, there we go click on crop and you're done now the uh, the theme is that's all set now uh, let me swipe over to the overlays manager now if I was to click home um, basically wallpapers uh, fonts and boot animations are all set up. So let's go back into Substrat or Substratum. Uh, now, what I wanted to do now was I kind of wanted to show you guys um, what this all themes. I want to turn this heat down. My God, I'm in Pens I live in Pennsylvania, and it's just been really cold. Uh, we've actually had a warm snap here lately, and it's I just love it. Um, First up, you're going to see all the apps that it themes. Obviously, what this does is you're picking and choosing between what apps you want it to actually theme. I always click that. It turns them all on. 
Um, for, if you click on the drop downs, that's self explanatory. Uh, what this does is it themes the background color of your uh, Android keyboard. I always go black. You can pick whatever color you guys like. Accent color. Your accent color, if I go into settings, you notice, uh, well, that's, we'll go into settings. Um, the accent colors are the suggestions, your wireless network, uh, your ROM control, anything you see in that blue, uh, those are the accent colors. Plus, um, the accent, yeah, those are your accent colors, yeah. <laughs> I was almost going to really mess this up. Uh, if I go into About Phone, uh, notice 6 ROM is in blue. That's accent color. If you would have changed that to yellow or whatever, mustard or uh, rep dom, it would, that color would be there. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and get back into th to the theme. Um, primary color. Your primary color, I actually have set for pixel blue. or I have, I, I have this set for black. Uh, your primary color is your um, status bar color, like up here. Notice where the words are disappearing. There's like a, a little line you can't see. I ha and it's black right under the word settings. Uh, if you would choose the primary color a different, like say cyan blue, uh, that top section there would be in cyan blue. Okay, that that's your basically what that is. Now, uh, your background color, or it does pop out in other areas as well um, throughout the theme, but basically that's what that is. Like uh, in a lot of apps that you run, uh, your primary color, I, I said background, your primary color would show up. It's basically your status bar area uh, and your nav bar area in some apps, okay? Uh, background color, okay? Um, it is what it's exactly what it says. This is your phone's background. Again, I chose black because I like a black theme. Um, I could change that if I wanted to go with like a berry back, uh, berry, you know, a berry black ground. Where is it? Oh, that's an accent. Um, but anyways, you can choose whatever color you like. I have black. Uh, switches. It's it's simple. Switches are, are what type of switches you want. You notice I have the um, gradient thin. Uh, even on the theme, you can see the switches are little blue dots and, uh, and a line. Uh, notice that the line starts white and it ends in blue. That's the gradient thin. Those are your switches. If I go into settings, uh, any switches that you would see in the settings would be the same way. If I go into, let me go into the six settings, see if I can bring up some switches. Uh, see if they're right here in the nav bar. Yeah, see how the switches are? That's, that's what I have set. That's thin gradient, okay? Um, trying to think of some of the tough ones here. Uh, also, guys, if you don't want something themed, you want to make sure that you uncheck it. Like, I'm running an older version of Nova Launcher, um, and I know that if I theme it, I'm going to have, it's going to just uh, kill the Nova Launcher as soon as the theme comes up. So I always uncheck that. Uh, but what we're doing basically is going over these settings that people are asking me. Like somebody asked me, how do I get the phone color to be the way it is? Well, if I go home and I click on my dialer and I go to the dialer section, my dialer section is pixel blue. That, that is my accent color, okay? The accent color is going to be the color of any lettering that you might have, okay? So to change your dialer, you would change your accent color. Uh, we're, let's see, let's go back into Substratum. Um, okay, next up is going to be your category tiles colors. Um, again, uh, this is going to be, I have it as my accent, okay? Uh, category color is in settings. Uh, that's going to be your category suggestions, wireless network, uh, ROM control, stuff like that. Uh, I know I said that earlier as, you know, that was the accents. Uh, that's actually... The accents are, you know, again, like your dialer and stuff like that, okay? Um, but <laughs> uh, I'm trying. Uh, let's see, card style. Uh, I just go with stock. You guys, if you want to run with cards in your settings, go for it. Um, I don't like it. it kind of, to me, I think it really screws it, you know, the whole thing. But you guys can do what you want with that. Um, now, the... Uh, the next one is going to be your um, your settings icons. 
Uh, now again, settings icons are going to be the icons in the settings to the left here, to the far left. All right. Um, this theme actually allows you to uh, pick the color of them if you want. Um, I'm going with the red. You can go with the pixel blue. Uh, your Google Royal icons, the six icons, Spectrum icons if you want, uh, accent icons. Uh, I'm going with red. Uh, quick settings background. Um, you, he gives you the option to go with either solid or transparent. I'm running a transparent. You notice how you can see through that. Uh, if you want that solid, then pick the solid color. Next up is going to be the nav bars. I've had people ask me about how I get the uh, nav bars changed on here. It's right here. Uh, if you go to the nav bar, uh, right now I'm running uh, the 6 Alien. Uh, that's what that looks like. But you guys can go with uh, any of these that you want. I don't think he has the Google, the color of Google in here. No. Um, but if you want that color Google like I had in some of my other videos, in my Substratum videos and some of the other ones, uh, that's in a different uh, app, and I'll show you that when I'm done here. We're almost done, guys. Um, quick settings, uh, icons, colors. I think I have a chose accent, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I have it accent. Notice they're pixel blue, okay? I, I know a lot of you guys already know what this all does. Uh, I'm doing this video basically for those that uh, have asked a lot of questions and um, really want uh, to learn how to fine-tune their theming get it down a little better uh, status bar accents or status bar icons now uh, again what that is is that changes the uh, Wi-Fi and and data basically that's what that does uh, right now I am running the uh, color dots uh, you guys can go with the carbon you can go with uh, the honeycombs pretty cool looking uh, it basically changes your Wi-Fi and your data signals that's pretty much all it does okay guys all that is um, and that's it I think yep that's it um, and then once you're done you click on that you click build and enable and and that's it guys that's that's how you set your theme um, I can't think of anything else uh, I can't think of anything else that would um, help explain this anymore uh, now I was going to show you guys a good Here's another uh, another theme. If you guys are into your fonts, you want to change fonts. Uh, this theme has tons and tons of fonts, font packs that you can choose from. As soon as it opens here, right now it's building its cache. So, if I pick on the drop down on here, it, it just has a ton of fonts, and that's all this is. That's all this theme does is just change fonts. But it gives you more options than most of the other themes that do. Although six um, gives you a ton of options, uh, this this one here gives you a couple more. Um, I wanted to show you where you could go for the uh, if you wanted that Google drop down, and the theme is called if I could find it here. Um, navigate. That's it. This is the theme to go for that. Now, navigate theme, the only thing that it themes is your uh, is your nav bar. That's all it does. You notice there's only one selection there. It's because all it does is theme your nav bar. So uh, if you wanted that Google, you would go down to Google Colors. Uh, Google 2 color. That was the one that that was the one that I was running. Uh, if you guys were wondering how to get that, it's right there. Google 2 colored. It's that simple. Uh, but this one ha comes with all kinds of, uh, of nav bars to choose from. Now, this is the paid one. Uh, there is a free one, and it has, uh, you know, a lot less. But, um, again, I think the paid one's like 99 cents or something like that. So, it's, it's well worth it. All right, guys. Uh, I've already went over Substratum before, so uh, I'm not going to go through it again. But, basically, that was, uh, I was just trying to, uh, to let you see what part of the settings changed what so uh, if you guys liked the video give it a thumbs up um, uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers uh, I am doing some uh, ROM videos uh, but like I said before the ROMs are so much the same I'm trying to pick some ROMs that are a little bit different guys okay and I do have a couple in store uh, I've got some days off coming up I'm gonna get those videos out and uh, I will see you then so 
Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank all my subscribers, and I will see you on the next one.